Hey guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro CC tutorial. I'm your host, Gilly Gill. Today we're gonna to talk about the hardships of using 4K. We've all been there. We, we get to the point of editing. We've shot some amazing footage in 4K, but our computer really isn't as strong as it needs to be to play lag-free playback in 4K. That's where proxies come in. Proxies are like a lower resolution mirror file of your 4K footage. It's an extra step that you'll have to take if you don't have a super powerful PC, and it just helps you edit 4K footage just like you can do if it's 1080. Let me show you what I mean. All right, using proxies starts right here at the new project window. So if you know you have 4K footage that you wanna use in your project, I strongly advise you to do the proxies in the beginning. On this main screen where you're gonna add your name of your project and you're gonna tell the program where you want it to go, right down below where general scratch disks and ingest settings are, you wanna click ingest settings. And we're gonna select the ingest button we're gonna change this from copy to create proxies. And what that's gonna do is tell the program we wanna use lower resolution files of this footage for us to be able to edit efficiently on. Right now the current preset is a 1024 by 540 Apple ProRes 422 proxy. That is one quarter of our 3840 Ultra HD footage. So we're gonna use that. The proxy destination, instead of same as project, which you can put it there and that's fine, we're gonna use a custom location to put these proxies in. So inside this folder, which I recently filmed a really compelling kind of story uh, that someone told me. So we filmed a video and I've got footage with A camera and B camera. And where I want my proxies to go is inside this main folder here. So I'm just gonna keep it at Kevin Guitar Story and my proxy folder will populate within here. So let's just use that. Click OK and our project is gonna open and we can start working right away. So what we wanna do is import our footage. So just for the sake of demo, I'm gonna choose a few of these clips to import and we'll see what happens. Okay, just like usual, Premiere is gonna import these files and you're gonna see them show up in the project panel. But you'll also notice that Media Encoder will open at the same time. I'm gonna let Media Encoder do its thing and we'll come back to it when it's finished. It takes a little while, so you might want to like do something else for a few. You could fly to LA. You could take the whole family to Disneyland. You could eat 13.75 bowls of cereal. You could go tanning for an hour, read five books, edit a completely different video, catch up on all your YouTube subscriptions. What else? Yeah, I got nothing. It just takes a long time. If you're gonna make proxies, it's probably best to do this like as soon as you're done for the day. Go ahead and come in and drop your footage and import it so that it can create the proxies because it does take a little bit of time. So now in the folder that we told Premiere that we wanted to save these proxies to, we'll notice our proxy clips. And you can always tell their proxy clips because it will name them underscore proxy. Inside Premiere, I strongly recommend you adding this kind of like information header. So in the project panel, right click, right where the name is, and then click metadata display. Twirl open Premiere Pro project metadata and scroll down till you see proxy file path and proxy media file name. So just like inside that window, it's showing you all this relevation, like the duration, the media type, the in and out point, all that information can now show you where your proxy media path is leading to. If you grab your little scroll bar down here and you go towards the end, we have this proxy media file path which we can see it's in Kevin Guitar Story and this media path goes to that root folder in Kevin Guitar Story. If that file path is incorrect, you can modify it pretty easy. Just right click right here, choose proxy and then attach proxies. And we're looking for the proxy for P1011083. So just click attach and then locate that proxy file and click okay. We created a proxy, we've attached the proxies. Now, how do we use them and how does that whole thing work? It used to be a little confusing to me, but think of it as like hot swapping batteries. We're gonna use a clip that is a quarter of the resolution and then we're ready, we're done editing. We're just gonna swap it out with the full resolution file. In your source panel and your main program monitor, if you don't see this little blue icon right here, this is toggle proxies. That's gonna let you either use, when it's blue, the proxy, or use the original 
original media if it's unchecked. If you don't see that in here, you can just click this plus sign, open the button editor, and then find it in here, click and drag it into your toolbar, and click OK. If I play this clip back, it's gonna become real jumpy, and if I play it at full resolution, especially, it will not play back very smooth, watch. You can see the clip will start to skip frames and just not look very good at all. So what we can do is enable our toggle proxies. You don't really see it happen on screen, but it's happening behind the scenes. We've toggled that full resolution for the quarter res file that we made just earlier. And now it plays back perfectly smooth. So we can go ahead and edit as normal. Just choose an endpoint and an out point, drop it into your timeline. We can play this back super smooth in Ultra HD, but using proxies. The point is not everyone has a super fast computer, but don't let that deter you from still shooting 4K videos if you have a 4K camera. I believe the idea that thinking your computer can't produce the file or it's just gonna be too much of a headache to edit that might keep you away from shooting 4K, but if you use proxies, that's not the case at all. And that's pretty much proxies, guys. If you found this video very helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you aren't already with notifications on, and I will see you on the next one.